To add a container block, click the plus button. Find it in the toolset section and click to insert it. You can insert any type of blocks into containers. Let's start by inserting a column block with two columns. Let's put some text into our new container block. You can drag and drop any existing block into a container. When you drag a block, a blue line indicates the place where you are about to drop it. You can apply different styling settings to your containers. This includes setting an HTML tag and adding CSS classes, setting a background color, gradient or image, changing the font settings for the text content, easily setting margins, paddings and borders, and you can set the maximum width of the content inside your container. For example, we can set a nice blue gradient for our container block. Finally, you can also insert container blocks inside other containers. This allows you to have complete control over the positioning and styling of all the elements. For example, we can drag our existing text into the new container block and change the container settings. We set a bigger font size and add a button border to our text. When you have container blocks inside other containers, you can easily get to the one you need by clicking the block navigation button. You can see the block hierarchy and click the container block you want to edit.